Hello in for h and h here. This is just going to be a quick video for those of you who own a Yaesu FT DX5000 uh, with the SM5000 uh, station monitor, the external speaker, and band scope that you see above there. So uh, if you don't own a 5000, this may not interest you, but feel free to watch anyway. I want you to listen really carefully and hear that little beeping sound. Okay, hopefully you can hear that. I want to I show you what that is so you can solve it if you happen to have an FTDX 5000. Now, it only happens in my particular case. I've only noticed it here on the 17 meter band and in particular 18.130 um, megahertz. So uh, let me show you what it is. It's actually these three wires that come off the SM5000. Now you'll notice I've already put some chokes on and they helped, but they didn't knock it out completely. So, see if I can do this one-handed. I'm adding one more choke, a big one, big snap-on choke here. So you guys see this? Okay, do it where you up against that wall, so you can see. Now I'm clamping that around all three wires together. So if you, you might say I'm having to choke it to death, but um, let me see if I can get this to brighten up a little bit for you. There you go. So individual chokes snapped onto each wire and then a large choke, one of those snap-on chokes, uh, you know, it's made to go around coax. And that in combination with these others has knocked out that beeping sound. So it's actually coming from uh, an oscillator inside of the SM5000 uh, station monitor. So, if any of you have had to deal with that and wonder what it is, if you've, I mean, it's a random thing that you may just happen to run across as you tune through 17 meters, and you might even think that you know it is um, something coming in over the air. Uh, well, I guess it kind of is because I'll tell you this. Let me show you something else. It's coming from the antenna. So right now I'm listening on my doublet, balance line connection here. Um, let, me, let me remove the choke to bring the noise back a little bit. Hear it? Now, I'm gonna switch to my ZS6BKW, which is a multi-band dipole based upon the G5RV. I've talked many times about it. Um, it's a, a great antenna, but it doesn't have the sensitivity that the doublet has on this particular band. Um, it does, it does. by the way, it does work quite well and uh, even competes with the doublet at times, but on this particular band, the doublet must have a uh, very strong lobe coming right back toward the house. So back on the doublet, and it's just so sensitive, it's, it's actually able to uh, receive this oscillator that's in the SM5000 station monitor. So again, I'll just run all three wires through this choke, along with individual chokes on the wires, and, uh, and that seems to eliminate the issue. Okay, hopefully one of you will find this helpful if you happen to have the Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP along with the station monitor. It's still worth the, the trouble of putting those um, chokes on there because the speaker system alone in the SM5000 is really, really nice. And then you've got, you know, a rudimentary band scope, which is really all I care for. Okay, hey, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you, Patreons, again, for helping me keep this channel going. And if anyone would like to become a Patreon, um, I'm going to put the address here at the bottom of the screen. It's www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And uh, that gives you the opportunity to uh, help pitch in to keep this channel going. If you like this type of content, I would certainly appreciate 
uh, your vote, because that's a, really what it amounts to, is uh, a vote to help keep this type of content coming. And of course, if you would please like and subscribe to the channel, that helps as well. And uh, if you do subscribe, click the bell and you will be notified when I upload the next video. Okay, well, with that, I want to say thank you for watching in 73 from N4HNH.